Okay, in this video we're going to look at a very basic concept dealing with exponents. Uh, we'll focus on the definition of an exponent and how we can use this definition along with some other basic uh, math facts to come up with some of the uh, laws of exponents. So let's look at uh, the definition. We have b to the n. So in this particular case, uh, b is called the base. And it could be uh, any real number, negative or positive. In this case, we're going to assume it's not uh, 0 for convenience, but it uh, can be really any, any number. n could be, again, any real number, negative, positive, fractional. But in this case, we're going to assume it's a positive integer. And then we can make uh, adjustments uh, or modifications if it's, uh, if it's not. But, uh, uh, the base b taken to the exponent n, that's the power, means we write out b as a factor n times. So it's b times b times b, n factors, okay? So, for example, if I write out the base 2 and then I put a 3 here, that means 3 factors of 2. So that's 2 times 2 times 2. We get it. Okay. Now, if I look at, say, base b to the n, again, we're, I'm going to assume n here is a positive integer, and say b to the n. Okay. So we're multiplying these two. b to the n times b to the n. So by the definition, that means that for this first term here, we have n factors of b. So I put out factors of b n times. The second one is b to the m, so I have factors of b m times. So it's n factors of b and m factors of b all multiplied together. So you can see that that's going to give us b to the n plus n. So this tells us basically that this is one of your laws of exponents. If you're uh, multiplying two powers of the same base, I uh, bring down the base and add the exponents. Okay, so if I look at a specific one with, uh, say, 2 to the second times 2 to the third, base has to be the same now. Okay. So if I just look at this as factors, that means, okay, two factors of 2, that's 2 times 2. And then also multiply three factors of 2, so that's 2 times 2 times 2. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 factors of 2. So that's 2 to the fifth. Okay, which comes out the same as saying, as we stated right here above, 2 to the 2 plus 3. Okay, so the answer comes out to 2 to the 5th, or if we multiply those factors out, we get 32. Okay. And let's clear this. Let's suppose we have b to the m over b to the n. And let's assume for this particular case, let's, let's suppose that m is greater than n. Again, we're assuming here that m and n are positive integers. Okay. Okay, so notice here that uh, I have m factors of b on top and n factors of b in the bottom. Okay, so I have more factors of b on top because m is greater than n. So I can, I can actually cancel a lot of those b's. So, uh, in, fact, in fact, I can cancel n of them. So what's going to be left? If the top has m and I cancel n of the b's, I'm going to get n minus n. 
So this little law here then tells me that if I have um, dividing uh, two powers of the same base, bring down the base, and subtract the exponents. Okay. So as an example, if I have, say, 3 to the 6 power divided by 3 to the 4th power, you can see this, that OK on top I have 6 factors of 3. And the bottom I have 4 factors. Okay, so these can cancel out. So this divides out to be 1, 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 so I'm left with 3 times 3, which is 9. Okay. Okay, so I'm doing it the long way also, so you, should, you, you can see how it uh, does come out the way it's supposed to. So uh, if I do it using the uh, little law that I have over here, then it says, okay, dividing powers of the same base. Bring down the base and subtract the exponents. That's case six minus four. And that would give me three squared. Or nine. Okay. So we get that result. Now let's look at uh, b to the n over b to the n. Okay. So again, the exponent here for the b on top is n, the bottom is also n. And here I'm assuming b cannot be 0 for this particular case because division by 0 is not allowed. Okay, So it, it, it should be clear to you that because I'm dividing by the same thing. Any number divided by itself is 1, except for 0. You cannot divide by 0. So this is 1. OK, now if I apply the property or law that I just looked at, bring down the base and subtract the exponents, n minus n in this case is 0. So this then tells me that any number taken to the 0 power, except for 0, 0 to the 0 is undefined. OK, just like division by 0 is undefined. So b to the 0 is 1. So this again gives me another little property. It tells me that if I have any number taken to the 0 power, except for 1, for 0 rather, uh, the answer is going to be 1. Okay. Clear this. Now, let's suppose, now this one I might do it with numbers so it will be clearer to you. So let's suppose I have uh, uh, 2 to the second taken to the third power. Okay, so basically I have uh, exponent here and then exponent over here. So for the for the for the number in the parentheses, the base is 2. Okay, so the base for 2 here is 2, and the base for the 3 is this 2 to the second. Okay, so let's let's do this. Uh, Let's use let's apply the exponent three first. So the base here is two to the second, so that means three factors of that, so that would be two squared times two squared times two squared. Okay. So now I have the same base. So based on the law, if I have uh, Multiplying powers of the same base is being the base and not the x one. So it's 2 plus 2 plus 2, that's going to give me 6. Okay. But see, that's the same thing as 3 times 2. 3 times 2. Okay. So this is telling me that if you if you have a, a power taken to a power, bring down the base, multiply the exponents. So that, that would suggest then that if I have b to the m. Taken to some other power or exponent, say n, then all you have to do is bring down the base 
multiply the exponents. So that's m times n. Okay. Now let's uh, clear this. So the exit is then this of x and one of your laws of exponents that we can derive using just basic ideas of exponents. Okay. Now let's let's look at one over a to the n. Okay. Now I do want to point out to you that in this particular case we're dealing just, uh, basically with with uh, uh, exponents being positive integers, but uh, an exponent could be negative. Uh, an exponent could be a fraction. Okay, or it could be a negative fraction. Uh, but based on what we've done, if I have 1 over a to the n, uh, I, can, I can say this. Uh, a to the n of 1 over a to the n. So here I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator of this fraction now. By a to the minus n. Those in this case, I used a as my base. I uh, could use b. Okay, it's just a, a symbol. Okay, so now notice here, one times a to the negative n. That's still going to be a to the negative n. And at the bottom, again, powers the same base at the exponent. So that's going to be a to a to the n minus n. So that's going to be zero. But we just showed a while ago that. Uh, a to the 0, any base to the 0 power except for 0 is 1. So basically here I have a to the minus n over 1, which is of course a to the minus n. Okay. So this tells me then that if I have a to the negative n, that's the same thing as 1 over a to the and then I just bring it down and change the sign. Those are the same thing. Okay, so now we've introduced negative exponents, and we can we can use this formula to modify it and get an actual value. So if I give you if I give you say for example four to the negative three. Okay, okay what is the value of that? Well, based on this formula, this is the same thing as 1 over 4 to the third. Okay, and then you just multiply that out. 4 times 4, 4 factors of 4, so it's 4 times 4 times 4, that's 16 times 4 is 64. Okay. So this gives you some uh, idea as to what what you can do with with exponents. Of course, it's it's a big part of, uh, of algebra and and uh, the study of algebra. So these are just some basic ideas as how you can use the uh, definition of an exponent and some basic algebraic concepts to derive some of the formulas from the uh, laws of exponents. So uh, we'll continue with uh, videos uh, next time. So again, if these are helping you, please uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, uh, please post them. And if you're subscribing, I will uh, entertain your suggestion. Uh, keep in mind that in this channel, I do have a lot of other videos on algebra. And uh, I do have some miscellaneous videos on technology and uh, uh, some other things. Okay, so I hope uh, you're interested in these. And uh, we'll continue with other videos in the future. Thanks for watching.